this is Bossa Nova Astinado 2B. In this lesson, we're going to explore the idea of coordinating syncopated notes on the snare drum against the Bossa Nova Astinado. If you have the Brazilian Coordination for Drum Set book, you're going to have many more examples that you'll be able to play. There are two bar examples. There are also four bar examples that you can play as eight bar phrases, four bar phrases, repeating them, or you can just read from top to bottom of the page. Those pages are 21 through 41. So there you have 20 pages of more exercises to work on with this ostinato. Now, what's interesting about this ostinato is that on the hi-hat, you're closing your hat on two and four, but by doing that and playing eighth notes on the hi-hat, what you're going to get is an opening on the end of one and on the end of three. So you're playing eighth notes on your hi-hat, and as this is happening, it's okay for you to slightly accent with your stick that and of for each one. Now, here's the thing. You have to really press down on your hat pedal to get the opening and closing so that it's not a sloppy opening and closing. Um, the bass drum is playing the typical bossa nova beat. And you should practice this at slow, medium, and fast tempos because, as you probably know by now, the bossa nova can be any of those. It could be a slow bossa nova, it could be a medium, it could be a fast bossa nova. The trick is to think of this in 4-4. Use two-part counting. It's a straight eighth note feel, one and two and three and four and. Now, one of the things I really like about this is that the first bar is going to look different from the second bar. Whenever possible, it's going to be written with syncopation. And you know when you write with syncopation, you try to eliminate as many rests as you can. So everything will sound exactly the same, but will look different, which is a great way for you to keep up on your reading and be able to have instant rhythmic notation recognition, which is really nice to have. Okay, so here we go with the uh, ostinato and then the five exercises. First I'll play them cross stick, then I'll play them on the snare. One of the things I want to tell you is that when you're playing your hat, make sure you use the tip of your stick. And then when you're playing your snare, make sure that the palm of your hand stays down on the drum head so that it stays muted. The other thing is make sure that your hat is very firm on the pedal so that you don't have a sloppy sounding bossa nova. When you're playing your snare drum, make sure you're not too much in the middle of the snare because you're going to end up getting a very staccato, very dry, short sounding attack on the snare and you don't want that. On the other hand, getting too close to the rim is not ideal either. So make sure you're somewhere in between your middle of the drum and the edge of the drum, somewhere in the middle, so that you do have some kind of a ring. You also don't want to play it too hard. So I hope you enjoy this lesson. Just take it a step at a time. Take your time to really get comfortable because as you continue to practice and become more comfortable, then you'll be able to concentrate more on the musical style 
and interpreting the style. So practice hard, and until next time, you take care and drum on. <laughs>